So far, we have seen a few data types. Strings for representing text, int and float to represent numbers. Today, we will explore another key type used in programming languages, the Boolean type. Along with the Boolean type, Python has several operators to construct complex Boolean expression. A Boolean, bool in Python, is a data type that can take only two values, true or false. In Python, we can compare numbers using, using comparison operators such as greater than, less than, greater or equal to, and less than or equal to. The operator equal equal is used for equality. Be careful not to confuse this operator with the assignment operator. It is a common source of syntax and logical errors, which can be very frustrating. Finally, the last operator is not equal. The result of a comparison expression is a Boolean. For example, the result of the expression 10 less than 7 is the value false, whereas the expression 10 greater than 7 evaluates to true. Value and variable can be compared and the result can be stored in a variable too. The variable my underscore condition refers to the value of the expression 10 less than 7, which is false. Therefore, the type of the variable is a Boolean. Comparison also applies to variables of compatible type, as shown with the variable is greater. When the expression big, greater or equal to small is evaluated, both variables are evaluated first and the expression become equivalent to 2000 is greater or equal to 6, which is true. When using a comparison operator, make sure to compare comparable objects. Failing to do so may not raise an error, however, it may not get the result you expected. For example, in the first expression, you may have expected the statement to return false. Note that strings are compared alphabetically, as demonstrated by the last expression. There are other surprising results when comparing values from the same type. Exact equality between floating point number is a dangerous concept in Python. Although mathematically speaking, a minus b should be equal to 2.58, due to the representation of a floating point number in the machine, it is not true in Python. To safely compare two floats, we'll need to use the maths module, which is a little bit too advanced for now. It does not matter if you don't understand the following code. At this stage, the code is not important. The message to remember is that you must not use equal equal operator to compare two floats. The two lines of code will become much clearer in a few weeks' time. There are three Boolean operators shown in order of precedence, not, and, or. The not operator is a unary operator. That is, it takes only one operand and it precedes its operand. In an expression, if the variable p is true, not p is false, and vice versa. The AND operator returns a true value if and only if both operands are true, false otherwise. On the other hand, the operator OR returns false if and only if both operands are false, true otherwise. An important point to remember is that Boolean expressions are evaluated from left to right. When evaluating the expression A and B, if A is false, B is not evaluated and the expression returns false directly. The interpreter already knows that the expression will return false, as the AND operator returns false if one of the operands is false. There is no need to evaluate B. Similarly, when evaluating the expression A or B, if A is true, 
B is not evaluated and the expression returns true. The OR operator returns true if one of the operands is true. Again, the interpreter doesn't need to evaluate B. Clever use of the evaluation order enables developers to write more concise and clearer code. Now let's consider the expression not A and not B and C or not D. Using operator precedence on the value for A, B, C and D, there is no ambiguity in the final result. However, it might be very difficult for you to see what the result of the expression would be given the value A, B, C and D. Let's look at the precedence rules for this expression. The operator NOT has the highest precedence and therefore is evaluated first. The expression is equivalent to NOT A and NOT B and C or NOT D. Then the leftmost AND operator is evaluated followed by the second most left AND operator. Finally, the operator which has the lowest precedence of the tree operator is related. I hope this example makes it clear that you should use round bracket to make your code more readable and avoid logical error when the expression is rather long. Now that we have seen the Boolean type and how to construct Boolean expression, in the next video, I will explore our first control flow structure, the selection statement. <laughs>